Hi everyone, welcome to another afternoon video from Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Um, I just thought I would leave it zoomed out so you could have a look at the ones that we have done already from this page, doing one a page. Um, lovely Melissa suggested that I did this page, it was a great suggestion. I had already spotted the page and thought I would do it in the summer, but actually it's been really good fun. I'm glad I started it a lot earlier than I had planned. And uh, these little videos um, really suit me at the moment. It's actually Friday the 8th of um, April <clears throat> today. For me, this video is obviously going out on probably the 24th, I think. And uh, I'm about to have a week, um, two weeks off. And uh, I'm quite excited not to have two weeks off videoing because I do enjoy it. I'm going to start with rose pink. We're going to do the teapot pink. I'm going to colour the whole teapot in a gentle layer of rose pink and then add some other details. Yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to the two weeks, not because um, I, don't, I like videoing. It's great fun. I enjoy it. Um, editing, not quite so much fun, but it's okay. It's uh, bearable. I've done worse jobs, I have to say. But uh, I'm looking forward to the fact that I'll have more time to just colour without um, sort of doing it in front of a camera and having to talk through it, which most of the time is absolutely fine, but I start to run out of voice and uh, it feels a bit embarrassing when I can't properly talk, <coughs> which I'm struggling a bit with now. So uh, anyway, that is just the gentle layer of rose pink. And now I'm going to darken some areas by just going over them again with the same rose pink. We will do some darker colours um, later, but I just want to sort of think about and mark out where I want it darker and also just gauge how dark this pink's going to be because uh, I don't know. Those dots I'm going to do, do dark as if they're sort of set in. I'm going to ignore them at the minute and uh, just do a bit of shading around here to make this look a little shiny but the thing i'm looking forward to most with the next two weeks the children are off college so they'll be home i love having them home i don't know if they love being home quite so much they like the uh, not having to do any work and uh, having time to more time to play minecraft they like that but being stuck at home with mum <laughs> i don't know <laughs> and having to help with the chores which is always nice for me. No lunch boxes. Yay. Oh, I have to make one for my husband for a week. He's having the second week of the holidays off. But uh, um, it's uh, I don't have to make theirs. And I don't have to worry about staying on top of the washing and the shopping and everything. Because they haven't. if they have to wear their pyjamas for a day because I haven't done the washing, what does it matter? You know? But I'm not usually that disorganised. But it just it's just one less little niggle. So I can just have a bit more of a relaxed time, which is really nice. And uh, I'm hoping to take them out for a few walks. Um, whether they are going to um, oblige or not is, uh, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, I'm just picking my next colour. I'm thinking about that shade of pink and what's going to work with it. I want a darker shade, obviously, um, as I said. I'm going for the cherry pink. I'm just going to give it a sharpen. It's a little blunt. <coughs> Excuse me. I've just had lunch and I haven't had my cup of tea yet. It's just sitting on the side there cooling. Cherry pink. So yeah, I'm, you can probably hear I'm quite excited. But uh, just at the thought of being able to have a little bit more time. I have got some other work to do. But I'm... I don't know, I keep hoping that it's just going to get done quickly, but this morning I was trying to do it and I was really distracted and I didn't get much done. But uh, it's not going to do itself, unfortunately. But we'll see. We'll get there. So, uh, yeah, I had a nice walk this morning as well. My son was home, so I couldn't record. Um, and uh, I had a little walk um into town i left him here he didn't actually have any work to do and i said well you could come with me he's like no so i left him here he is playing his uh minecraft of course and um i had to pop and post something my um husband invented these um waterproof memo boards and uh we've got them for sale on amazon and uh, i had to post one out so that was fine 
<clears throat> this bit, these um loopy bits look a little bit odd because they're so pale. I'm going to just, I've picked up, sorry, I've picked up the rose pink. I'm just going to make them fade towards the middle like with the rest of the pot, I think, um, teapot. I think it will look a little bit better like that. Now I want a much darker colour to do these sort of dipped in holy bits at the bottom and the inside of the spout, although I've already done it a little bit. Um, I'm just looking at what we've got. I think that might be, might that be a bit extreme? No, let's try this. Watch me first, see if it works. I'm going to try this Indian red light. It's quite a dark one. If it doesn't work, um, try something else, but we'll see. I just want them to look like they're set in. I'm going to try and press a little bit lighter on that middle one because we've got um, a sort of, it's going from dark to light towards the centre. So I'm just going to try and make it a little bit darker on the outside ones. There we go. I think that works. I'm happy with that. But if you're not, um, choose, say, the purple or something like that. Maybe even the light purple. And I'm just going to go under these as well with this to try and just create a little bit of shade or shadow. I'm not sure what, which word is most appropriate. But I want them to look like they're slightly standing out from the pot and creating a little bit of shadow. I think that's just about working. We'll do some shadow down here as well while we've got this pencil. I'm just going to fiddle around a bit really under the lid look. I think there'd be a little rim and it would sort of stand out a bit. I'm going to make that shadow longer there and there. I don't know why, I just feel that that work. I don't know, it's up to you. See, think about, look at your own teapot. It's a good guide. Just to look at one that you've got and see what it looks like and copy that a little bit. I'm just going over the black line a bit. Just trying to emphasize the darker edge. Oops, and out of the line. <laughs> a little bit in here. I'm just sort of going over everything a bit. And actually, the bigger the contrast you have from your darkest to your lightest, the more shiny it looks. And uh, it's a good tip if you're doing metallics as well. It really makes them look more shiny. But this obviously isn't. Um, going to supposed to be metallic. It's, I was thinking China. Pink metallic. It's be a bit of an old teapot, wouldn't it? Might be nice, like rose gold. That would be nice. Okay, I am happy with that almost. I'm just going to grab that rose pink again. I feel like this handle is a little bit too white. So I'm just going to add a light layer of pink on it. I think that looks better. It still looks like it's catching the light a bit, but it looks like there's some colour there. <clears throat> so there's that. I'm going to use my eraser just to um, tidy up there a little. I'm sorry I keep clearing my throat. I am okay. It's just, as I say, because I need a um, drink. Now, to finish, I'm going to use a little bit of white. Now, this is quite a small... Um, item so i'm just trying to find the right pen bear with me i've got too many no we can't have too many things can you <laughs> you don't have too many coloring with coloring items so this is the 05 with the thin nib because it's a small area you could probably get away with an 08 you could probably even get away with a posca if you were careful and i just want to put some on the edge here to make it look a little more shiny now, if you put it on top of the areas that have the darker pencil, it stands out a little bit more. That's quite faint. I'm just going to scribble it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm hoping it will show up. Some of the pinks in this um, set actually um, take on the, um, the white takes on the pigment. I think it's okay it's working. I'm going to leave it there. It's quite a simple um, 
one with only, you know, just the three pinks. But I did want to keep it simple. I hope that's okay for you. I just uh, fancied doing it in just one colour. So there we go. So thank you for watching. I know it's been another short one. Um, these will be, that's sort of the idea almost of this page, is just little, little tiny um, treats for you to watch and colour, really. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day as well. Um, hopefully you'll have some fun um, and uh, enjoy yourself a little bit. And um, happy colouring. <laughs>